So I want to do a quick video on uh, back flush in your oil cooler uh, on the 6.0 Power Stroke. I wanted to give a uh, thank you to uh, Bill Hewitt at PowerStrokeHelp.com for posting this uh, on his website. You know, he presented it as a something you could try before you go spend the money on a new oil cooler, which is pretty expensive. So hopefully this helps you guys. Uh, this is a 07 uh, Power Stroke and uh, when I bought it and put a uh, tuner on it and started monitoring it with the gauges, I noticed the delta between the engine oil uh, temperature and the engine coolant was um, starting to grow. It started about uh, about 13 degrees difference, and then uh, recently it got up to about 21 degrees difference. Uh, I live in Florida. Uh, it's summer and it's really hot, and uh, it's flat, and I'm not towing any loads, but uh, you would see a 21 degree difference. So uh, hopefully this will save you money if you want to try it, and hopefully I got enough detail in here that'll help you. Um, take a look. Uh, at the end, you see the uh, difference that it made in temperatures. So take a look and like the video. So I thought I'd uh, give you a quick rundown of how this goes. Uh, step one is to remove the uh, intercooler charge air tube. Uh, there's one, you really just have to take that one hose clamp on the right off and uh, let that sit on the intercooler and then you can just take the one, the farthest one loose there where it goes into the turbo and then you're working down in this tiny little area down here and you can kind of see the shiny part down in there that uh, that's the top of that cap that you're trying to get to. <clears throat> uh, there was part of that part of it that was uh, pretty difficult um, so you're dealing with this there's only two screws it sits in there about like that the one closest to you is, is easy to get to the farthest one here sits underneath the turbo and it's, it's difficult um, I don't know how the uh, guys in the shops do it. I don't know if they were quick. I guess they could take the turbo off or whatever. But um, there's two harnesses down there. One of the harnesses will be in your way. Um, so I used a clothes hanger to pull it pull it out of the way a little bit, and that was fine. No tool I had could uh, accomplish getting a hold of that. So I made this. This mess is a quarter inch wrench with the bit. And a whole bunch of hot glue and that actually did the job it takes a little time but uh, stay patient which was very difficult and you can do it so that's it you uh, pull that cap off replace it with uh, the cap that you made here hook up the hoses pull the uh, lower radiator hose off lift the uh, radiator and the block drain a little bit till it stops and then, um, then you just blast it with water and air. And that's really the whole whole thing. It took me half a day, to tell you the truth, to uh, figure out how to get that far screw off. That was the most difficult part. Hopefully you got a better solution. So here is the uh, setup that I used. I uh, bought the replacement cap from Ford, tapped it for... Uh, for that air quick connect. Uh, I tried to use the quick connect but it wouldn't fit under the turbo so I just cut the hose off put a pipe clamp on there. And that connects to there into the motor and then uh, I piece this together so that I could have uh, air input here with a uh, ball valve to turn it on and off. Water comes in here and uh, this goes to the motor. There we go, now you can get a bunch. That's a better view. I emptied the coolant out. And that's a big pile of the particulates that came out of the oil cooler with just, uh, just water pressure. So 
I'm going to throw, uh, put air in there now along with the water and we'll see what else comes out. All right, so blasted it with air. Look all this stuff came out. So I'm hoping this cooler is going to run a lot better. I hope. I guess it's not a guarantee, but it should run better without all that gunk in there. So after one more blast, got a little bit more. It's probably hard to uh, tell a scale here, but uh, this is about a third of the size of the last pile. So I'm going to call this good, put it back together, and see how the temperature's good. Looks like about 13 degrees difference, and it's been tracking between 10 and 13 on the same stretch in the same conditions. Uh, before I did this, it was about 21 degrees difference, so there's a huge improvement. Fort says 15 is the max, so I call it success. 